Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Mykeisha. I am the new recess coach. Today I'm going to be reading a book to you called Being Frank. Being Frank. Frank was always Frank. Honesty is the best policy, he said. Frank never lied to his schoolmates. Your freckles remind me of the Big Dipper, he told Dottie. Dottie pulled her hood over her face. Your singing is kind of shrecky, Frank told Carol. Carol stomped away. I'm guessing this is Carol stomping away. And this is Frank singing. And there's Dottie pulling her sweater over her head. Frank always told the truth to adults. Your breath smells funny, he told his teacher, Miss Zamora. She sent Frank to the principal's office. That's not very nice, huh? Your toupee looks like my pet weasel, he told Principal Wiggins. Mr. Wiggins called Frank's mom. Uh-oh. You wouldn't get so many wrinkles if you didn't glare at me like that. Frank told his mom on the way home. And by the way, you're speeding. <laughs> Have you ever been in the car with your parents speeding? And Frank was always, always honest with police officers. That's the right thing to do, right? You should always be honest with the police officers. Yes, officer, he said. She knew how fast she was going. I told her. Uh-oh, looks like mom got pulled over by the police for speeding. Frank was very proud of being Frank, but other than police officers, Adults weren't as impressed with Frank's honesty as he thought they should be. You'll have wrinkles one day too, Mom said, rubbing on some lotion. Some things are better left unsaid, said Mr. Wiggins, adjusting his tope. Yeah, because sometimes if the things you're saying aren't nice, that might hurt someone's feelings. So sometimes it's it's not always good to be so honest. You don't have to say everything you're thinking, said Miss Zamora, popping a mint in her mouth. still going to sing in the talent show at the school carnival tomorrow but I'm not but I'm not going to ride the Ferris wheel with you Carol told Frank but we always ride the Ferris wheel together Frank whispered Frank's schoolmates weren't impressed either my freckles do not look like the Big Dipper Dottie said and my mother says I shouldn't listen to you uh -oh. everyone was upset and now Frank wasn't happy either. Well, it looks like everyone's upset with Frank for giving his opinions. Frank clipped his toenails and alphabetized his blood collection, but he didn't feel any better. So he walked down the block to grandpa's house Grandpa Ernest was on the porch, clipping his toenails. Incoming, he yelled. Frank ducked. See Grandpa Ernest 
clipping his toenails on the porch. And Frank's bug collection. Oh, it looks like he has a ladybug, a worm, a spider, and a grasshopper. What's up, Frank? Grandpa said. Everyone is mad at me for being Frank. I'm not sure honesty is the best policy anymore. That used to happen to me too, said Grandpa. Mrs. Peacock walked by and straightened her massive hat. It's new, do you like it, Ernest? Frank thought the hat looked like a flower store on Mrs. Peacock's head. <laughs> Hey, there's the flower hat on Mrs. Peacock's head. Well, Grandpa said, there are an awful lot of flowers up there, but my favorite is the purple one in the middle. Thank you, Mrs. Peacock beamed. Two to do. That was nice. Even though he doesn't really like it, he said that there was a nice purple flower that he liked. That was very nice of him. Frank couldn't believe his ears. Grandpa, you lied. No, Frank, I told the truth. I really do like the purple flower best. I talked about the good things on her hat instead of the not so good things. That was a good idea. Grandpa's best friend, Mr. Pickles, pulled up his truck. Try this relish, he called, handing Grandpa a jar and a spoon. I've got a cold and can't taste a thing. There's Mr. Pickles with his spoon. scooped a spoonful of relish into his mouth. His nose twitched. His eyes watered. His hair stood on end. <laughs> There's, see his hair there? Give it to me straight, Ernest, said Mr. Pickles. I can't sell it if it's not good. Grandpa wiped his eyes. More sugar less pepper. Mr. Pickles grinned and shook Grandpa's hand. Back to the drawing board. Thanks for your help. Grandpa, he didn't get mad at you. That's right. Grandpa drank some water. He asked me for the truth and I gave it to him. Frank sighed. So I shouldn't give the truth unless someone asked for it? You should always give people the truth, Grandpa said. You just have to find the right way to serve it. The next afternoon at the school carnival, when Miss Samora laughed like a horse, Frank said, you tell great jokes. When Mr. Wiggins did a weird dance, Frank said, impressive spin, sir. When Frank saw Dottie, he said, I like dots better than squares. And when Carol sang, Frank said, you sure can hit those high notes. Carol smiled, smiled at Frank. Dottie and I are going to ride the Ferris wheel. Wanna come? There they are. Seems like Frank's finding a way to say nice things now. On the way home, Frank gave his mom a poem he wrote for her. Mom, your hair looks nice today. I only see a little gray. <laughs> and when she smiled, Frank decided not to mention the wrinkles around the corners of her mouth. That was nice. Mom, your hair 
looks nice today. I only see a little gray. That's cute. The next day, while Frank helped Grandpa in his garden, Mrs. Peacock stopped by again. You were right, she said to Grandpa. That other hat had too many flowers. Just then, Mr. Pickles arrived with a new jar of relish for Grandpa to try. Excuse me a moment, Grandpa said to Mrs. Peacock. He's going to try the new relish. So what do you think of my hat, Mrs. Peacock asked. But this time, she wasn't asking Grandpa. She was asking Frank. What do you think Frank's gonna say? Let's see. Frank looked at Grandpa on the porch with Mr. Pickles. Grandpa was taking another spoonful of relish and he wasn't drinking any water. Frank knew just what to say. I've never seen a hat like that before. It must be one of a kind. Thank you, Mrs. Peacock beamed. Doo -doo -doo. So how is it being frank today, Grandpa asked. Well, Grandpa, I still think honesty is the best policy, said Frank. But now, I know it's best to serve with more sugar. <laughs> and less pepper. What a neat little story. Hope you guys enjoy.